Alright, um, this video, as you can see by the title, um, is about Windows 7, so obviously I like to try new things, and uh, I play World of Warcraft, and I use all the different, I use a bunch of, I have, I have seven computers online right now, I sold one, um, but I try out all the different um, add-ons and add-on clients like Curse. Um, uh, I haven't tried Wild Matrix, but I'm going to try that here in a few minutes. Um, I really like Carbonite. Well, on Windows 7, I've been having difficulty. This is a cigarette. Oh, all right. Anyways, on Windows 7, I've been having difficulty getting Carbonite to work, let alone any add-ons. So, and it's because of Windows 7's, I don't know, what would you call it, file structure? And obviously I like to try new things, so I better test the crap. Um, so, here's how to fix that problem. What you need to do is, uh, if you have a X, this is from an XP machine. You do it, um, it's not that hard to do with Vista either. But you get the basic gist of it here in a second. All right, in the, in the you know uh, if you originally install WoW onto a Windows Seven machine, you dig down into it. You go to Users, uh, Public, Games, World of Warcraft, and there's either no interface or there is an interface. And there's no add-ons. Mine didn't even have an interface or add-ons. It just had cinematics. And so I tried to create. I hunted it down. I searched through all the file systems. Tried to hunt it down. Get the. Uh, I tried to create a file uh, interface. Tried to create add-ons. Tried to put Carbonite in there. That didn't work. So here's what I did. I have an, a NAS device, a Network Gary storage device or you could use an external hard drive. I went to my XP machine. I copied, I went down into C program files, you know, uh, C drive program, how you would mess with add-ons anyways, under XP. I took the entire World of Warcraft file, put it onto, um, da -da -da -da, put it onto my ex network area storage device, um, copy that 16 gigabytes over to that. Then, once that was done, I went over to the Windows 7 machine and I uh, made a file, you know, stupid, just any name file on my desktop. Slapped that, opened up my uh, NAS device. I am having trouble. Open up my network area storage device or external hard drive from there and then put it on my desktop. Then I went to, uh, under Windows 7, I went to Computer, C, Users, Public, okay, you know, this is the path, Games, World of Warcraft. I erased that World of Warcraft in there and then the one that was on my uh, network area storage device or it could be a hard, external hard drive. I moved that into there. The uh, at all my add-ons work. That particular one had a bunch of them from uh, that XP machine that I don't re I don't really play World of Warcraft on. So I had the Curse client in there. I had a bunch of stuff for my lock, um, all that stuff. So that's how you that's how you could get add-ons to work under Windows 7. I hope that was really too clear so all you gotta do is copy the World of Warcraft file from an XP machine with your add-ons or not even with your add-ons because I erased all the ones from uh, the 7 and well no I didn't even erase them I just put I just threw the Carbonite folder in there and I went into uh, World of Warcraft and I clicked the add-ons at the uh, you know at the bottom of the screen I disabled every one of them except Carbonite so just really quick in overview, uh, copy the World of Warcraft file from uh, XP machine or Vista machine to an external hard drive 
or no network area storage device, which I did, and then copy that file into program C users public games World of Warcraft and the one that's already there just completely erase it and then put the new one right there where that is and it'll work because it works for me okay now here's my uh, thoughts on that that sucks to be have to do that because what's gonna happen in uh, there Microsoft has uh, just said recently that Windows 7 is going to be out for uh, Christmas and uh, so I don't think World of Warcraft's going in there anywhere with 11 million users and uh, so mm, I don't know Windows 7 is kind of fucking pissing me off when it comes to their file structure uh, it's you can't get down into it, you know, like like you can with uh, XP. I could see that being a safety feature against like idiots screwing up their computers and stuff. And it look, you know, but I mean, if I want to legally modify my operating system to uh, better refine it to my user preferences then I think I should be able to do that and not have um, to have to fight it so what's gonna happen when somebody buys a some somebody has their old Pentium 4 machine and crashes because they got antivirus hold on a second I'm making a YouTube video and they got an, antivirus 2008 or some kind of screwed up virus that ate their hard drive or something like that so they go out and they don't know nothing about computers and they go to Walmart and they buy a new computer that has um, Windows 7 on it or something and then they go to try to put their add-ons or and they uh, because I know that um, with the cursed client uh, Carbonite I haven't got Carbonite to work except like Carbonite up update some mod to Carbonite itself and the cursed client so anyways I think that's really screwed up and uh, I'm sure that there will be a workaround because this is just a release client but that's how to get it to work right now I don't know what's happening with it but it's choppy it's like the screens kinda of flashing which it didn't do and it's not that bad and it's on a pretty weak machine so I'm only getting like 25 frames per second in a heavy populated city so peace that's my two cents later